Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. So today I have a really, really exciting tour for you guys. I am going to be touring Secret Garden Boutique. It is a beautiful rare plant shop downtown Guelph. And when I say rare plants, I really mean rare plants. There is no clickbait here. The owner of the shop imports plants and grows her own Hoyas and sells them now in her shop. Secret Garden just opened today. As you're watching this video, it opens at 10 a.m. today. You guys will see once we get into this video, they have some incredible plants that you definitely want to go check out and get your hands on. In case any of you guys are not aware, all of these prices are in Canadian dollars and all of these plants are rare plants. So they definitely do have a higher price tag, but they are well worth it. These plants are imported from other countries and acclimated before you purchase them so you know when you're getting your plant that it's not going to die because it was just shipped from Asia two days ago. She keeps all of her plants for about a month before she starts to sell them. There are many trendy plants in this tour and there's also a huge back room that has many more plants to come out. Don't worry if you guys miss out on some of your favorite plants this time because she has many that will be coming out in the next few weeks and also a few hours into the day tomorrow itself. So I'm just gonna get straight into this video, but I really hope that you guys enjoy this tour as much as I enjoyed filming it. You guys are going to love it. The last thing I will say is that I'm so grateful for her for opening up a shop and following her dreams because now my dreams have come true and I can shop for rare plants in person. <laughs> All right, let's actually get into the video this time. All right, guys, so this is what you see when you walk into the secret garden. They have amazing rare aeroids and also some amazing Hoyas that you don't typically see in local nurseries. So I'm basically just going to start over on the other side here and I'll let you guys know some prices and I'll let you guys know some names of some plants. Um, but yeah, let's just get straight into it. So the first guy here is this variegated jade plant. These guys are $15. They've got lots of them and they're super beautiful. Also got some Hoya caudata Sumatra. Lots of them as well. These are $40. Some of them are more expensive, some are less. This one's 45 here and it has a ton of growth points. There's some new little babies growing there too, which is really cute. It's nice to see plants growing in the store uh, before you take them home because there's less likelihood of it needing time to kind of chill out before it starts growing. Then we've got some Dishidia ovata, which are the watermelon uh, Dishidia. Really, really cute. Hoya lemming tone. I might be saying that completely wrong, but those are really, really beautiful. And they are $32 each. It's definitely a more uncommon Hoya, so worth its price. 
There are some three inch pots of the Hoya Retusa. Some are $25, those are two inch pots. And then some are, or sorry, two and a half inch pots. And some are 35 for the three inch pots. That one there is super full. Then we've got some Hoya Crinkle 8. These guys are really, really full and growing. You can see there. These are all $38. Ooh, this one is really cool. Hoya Kai, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hoya Kenyuk Kumarayana. <laughs> all right then. These ones are $20. Definitely a more uncommon Hoya as well. Really, really cute though. This one is growing right here. Ooh, Hoya Sigillatus. I just got a Hoya Sigillatus. Um, I absolutely love it, especially if you give it a ton of sunlight. It gets this really beautiful pink color, but kind of all over. And these guys are $28 and $30 for the ones with the trellises. Really beautiful. And we've got some Hoya, sorry, not Hoya, <laughs> Philodendron pink princesses. These are really beautiful. There's a half moon leaf there. This leaf also has a ton of variegation. Uh, let me see if I can find a price. I don't think these ones are priced, but they will likely be priced by tomorrow. Ooh, Hoya Bella. Oh my gosh, I need this. This is the original green Hoya Bella for $18. They've got some more full ones too. This one's also $18. And they've got a few of those. Um, what are these? I'm not sure what this one is called, but it is $26. Those are really beautiful. This is like something that I need <laughs> really, really badly. Hoya Beguen. Gutensis. Really super, super beautiful. This is exactly what I'm into. These super large leaf Hoyas. This one's only 45 for something this size. And they do have a few of them. This one's on a trellis here. Very full. That's so pretty. Then there's a Hoya Matilde here. $28. Very full some Hoya Obovada. These are the variegated ones and they're $32 for a two inch pot there. Some Hoya Carii, $36. Hoya Coronaria for $25. Some Hoya Australis Lisa for $28. I'm not 100% sure what this one is. It might be a macrophylla. I don't think so though. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see if I can get a price on it. 28. Some really nice ones. Oh, this is a, a macrophylla here. Really beautiful. There's a fully variegated leaf. Um, so now I'm gonna move on to the top shelf here. So here we have an Ethereum Vichii. This one is 210 and it's a really good size. I'll put my hand up for comparison. That is the size of it. Really, really beautiful. Then we've got this other Ethereum Vichii. This one's also 210. Some more there. Then we have some really, really cute philodendron squammy ferrum. These guys are for 145. Really, really decent uh, sizes though. These leaves are quite mature and they have these super cute fuzzy petioles there that everyone loves from a squammy ferrum. There's this smaller guy as well for 135. Then we've got this philodendron Goeldii. 
really beautiful. 98 for that guy. And they have a few of them. There's three here. They're probably three feet tall each. Really, really cool though. Then down here, we have this philodendron Ruizii, or Ruizii. This one's 105. Some really large leaves on this one. We've got some common Hoya pubicalyx pink here. They are so full. These are only $30 for these giant full plants. And they have trellises in them as well, which is nice. This one here is $25. It's really nice in a hanging basket. This is beautiful here. This is Anthurium vitarifolium for $70. Really stunning leaves on this one. And we've got these Hoya Carii hanging baskets, uh, $45. These are the variegated ones, but they are so full and there's some new growth there. These are some of my favorites. These are these silver pastizanums. So beautiful. These are 220. This one has four leaves. It's beautiful and giant. This guy is also 220. And this guy is as well. Uh, I think this is my favorite though. This one has two really beautiful leaves and one on its way. Right there. I don't know, this one though. This one is really stunning. Then I'll just show you what's on this table before I go to the other side. There are a ton of really cute pots here. These ones are really, really great because there are so many Hoyas here that are in this uh, three inch size. So when you pick up your Hoya, you can grab a pot to go with it as well. Some, this is really beautiful too. $15, that's a really good price some propagation vessels. These are only $8. So cute. Some more really beautiful pots down here. $24. Those are really reasonable prices for these pots. They're really beautiful. $20. This one's speaking to me there. And some some others here in medium sizes, more like four inch pots. There's also some beautiful macrame here. This is by Knotted Rope, Stacy Ann, there's her information. We've got another one of these beautiful Hoyas that I'm obsessed with. I can't remember the name, it's Benna something. And uh, yeah, again with the trellis, I really like that. And it's only $45. Another Hoya Caudata here as well. This one's $40 as well. So comes with a few more leaves than some of the others. There's a variegated lipstick plant here. I'll show you guys. There are some more on the other side though. I'll show you the price as well as that one. This looks like a Hoya Carnosa here. This is a beautiful pot. It kind of has this trellis glued onto the side of it or welded onto the side of it, which is a really cool design. In this cabinet here, there are some cute pots. These are terracotta and they all have different little sayings on them. This is my favorite, they're rooting for you. So cute. All right, and over here, we'll start with the middle shelf as well. I don't know what all of these are, but I think that they are all carnivorous plants, whether they're passively carnivorous, like the butterworts here, or they're the, they have the pitcher plants as well. 
It's $25 for that pitcher plant there. They've got some of the butter warts for $8 and $10. That one's really cute there. But you can see them at work here, catching all of those fungus gnats. That's amazing. And looks like Monstera siltipicana here too. This may just be propagating. I think this is a type of skindapsis, if I'm not wrong. All right, and then we've got some philodendron giganteum. There's some variegated ones, really beautiful. 155 for these. They're stunning. Got this philodendron ring of fire for $95 some really nice variegation. Then some variegated bear paw succulents. These are 35, they're very full. Beautiful. These are such cool cacti. I have no idea what that is. This one doesn't have a price, but that's okay. I'm sure that this one will find a price within the next day or so. This is so cute. This guy's five dollars. Then here we have this philodendron plowmanii, 185, but stunning, stunning leaf. These are both 185 as well. This one's a little bit more narrow. And another one here with a new growth point. Got philodendron subhostatum for $95. If you see the undersides of these leaves are red, which is so beautiful. This is one that I feel like I'll have to get one day. There's a new leaf coming out there too. Tons of Hoya rotunda flora. This one is stunning. I might have to get it. <laughs> $35 really awesome there's some for 30 as well and we've got some Hoya aldrichii these ones are $40 and this guy's on a trellis there and some Hoya mindorensis black they probably come in as black leaves like similar to this here and we've got this Anthurium hybrid. This is for Gettii and Clarinervium. Just super awesome. This one is $90. Really beautiful though. And another one here, also for $90. And we've got these Hoya annuladas. This is not one that I've seen before. They're really beautiful and they're $40. For anyone looking for variegated Hoya carnosa compacta, there are also some here, $25 for these little guys. Really cute. Ooh, these are fuzzy. Oh my gosh, this little thing is hairy. That's amazing. This is the Hoya patella pink. Those are so awesome. They're $28. Then there's some Hoya Curtisii here for $22. I think these are two inch pots. Some Hoya Eruthrostema or Stemma. Really beautiful for $36. Lots of Hoya Sunrise here. These guys are $36. And as they get sun stressed, they get that beautiful purpley pinkish color. Some really large Hoya Australis Lisa. Those guys back there are $20. Actually, they're all $20, so kind of get your pick of the litter. Then we've got some Hoya Obovada as well. These ones are $32. These are really beautiful. Oof, I need a Hoya Obovada, just the regular one. I may have to get one of these as well. <laughs> Those are stunning. This one has a beautiful large leaf. 
And then here we have some of these variegated lipstick plants. Really nice for $12. So that's a really good price. Very reasonable. Up here we have some variegated whale fin, Sansevieria for $65. Some ZZ Zenzies for $30. Shidia Jerry or Gary, really nice. These are super full and they're only $16. These are very cool. I cannot pronounce that. Aschinathanthus <laughs> Black Pagoda. Those are very, very unique for $15. And then these guys are the star of the show here. There are a ton of Philodendron Florida Ghost available. They are all 145. Some are more full than others, but if you get here early, I'm sure you can get the best one. That is a beautiful, beautiful shiny leaf there. <laughs> And then we've got some of my favorite, the Hoya Nummularioides. These guys are so cool. Their texture is amazing. And we've got a Philodendron Mame, I believe. Yes, for 125. This is stunning. Really, really nice. Got some Anthurium Magnificum. These guys just get ginormous. Really, really nice. And where's the price? $195 for these guys. It's very comparable to what you're seeing online these days. But when buying in a store, you don't have to worry about shipping. So honestly, I think that's very reasonable. There's another one here. Really beautiful. This one is, I couldn't even stop looking at it while I was filming this stuff. There is a Philodendron Jose Bono. $250. This is just so stunning. And there's a new leaf coming out there that looks like it has some amazing variegation. But yeah, that is just spectacular. And then before I pan down, just prepare yourselves for what you're about to see. <laughs> so here we have probably the largest alocasia cupria I have ever seen. They are all very reasonably priced. These are 260 and look, like, are you joking? That is so ginormous. This one is also, I believe, 260, yes. So they really are just going by pot size here, which is fair, it's very typical. Another giant leaf here. Let's see this guy. This is 200. Again, like very reasonable considering what I've seen. This is a beautiful leaf here. 200 as well. That is just stunning. And then I believe these guys are gonna be 220. Again, 260, sorry. Some really large ones too. Those are just amazing. Then we've got some of these larger, uh, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called, but uh, I don't think these guys are priced yet. I think this is one of the ones that weren't, but they're very cool. Next up here, we have some Monstera Stanley Anna. These are $95. Very reasonable. 
Lots of beautiful variegation in those ones. These are also 95. And then there are some philodendron painted lady. These are $90. This is one that I've been looking out for too. It's so cute. These are all $90 here. Really stunning. And then we've got this philodendron pastazanum, putting out a brand new leaf. Oh, that's gonna be beautiful. It's got this big leaf already though. And these guys too. Those look like shipping leaves, but still stunning. A really large Australis Lisa here for $55 in a hanging basket. It's really beautiful. Then some Philodendron Silver Swords. These are $80. Beautiful. This is one that is very cool. This is the Philodendron Rugosum. I may or may not be needing this. <laughs> this is also known as the pigskin philodendron. You can see this texture here. It's very cool. And this one's only 120. It's putting out a brand new leaf there also. And then last on this shelf are these Calathea orbifolias, $32, very reasonable, and they look very healthy. Really, really nice. I might have to get two of these and put them together to make the big plant that I've always wanted. <laughs> but yeah, that's those are really, really nice. And last but not least, we have these um, hanging baskets. Some more Dishidia Gary or Jerry for $30. More Australis Lisa for $55. Some more Hoya Carii for $45. Some Pubic Calyx there for $25. Some repeats here. And all of these macrame hangers are for sale. This one here is 25. And it's really nice to see them in other colors other than just the cream. I don't think this guy's for sale, but it's so beautiful. This Bantel Sensation Sansevieria, it is sensational. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is it. I mean, that is a lot <laughs> and it's a lot of amazing stuff honestly i am so glad that we have something like this in guelph now a place where you can come and pick out your dream plant honestly so if you guys are in the area please come check this place out you will not regret it and yeah there you go i really really hope you guys enjoyed that amazing tour if you didn't believe me before, I'm sure you believe me now. They have some incredible plants and an amazing selection. I wanted to show you guys though, before I go, what I picked up while I was there. She was kind enough to let me grab two plants that I was eyeing up because I'm not going to be able to be there in the morning when they open. So let me introduce you to my new plant babies in this little plant haul. So the first plant I actually already repotted because I didn't have a cover pot for it, but it was the same size nursery pot. I just put it into a terracotta pot, which are typically slightly deeper. So this is my new plant baby. So if you guys don't know what this is, this is the philodendron rugosum. This is also known as the philodendron or the pigskin philodendron. <laughs> and I'll show you why. Hopefully you can see that texture. But honestly, this plant has been on my wish list, kind of in the back of my wish list because it's very uncommon to find, but it's been on it nonetheless. And I'm so happy that I was able to get it. It has very thick, not very thick, but thicker leaves. And they have just the coolest leather texture. This is exactly what leather feels like. 
Maybe you guys can hear that too. There's also a new leaf coming out right there that I'm super excited about, but I think it looks really, really cute in this terracotta pot. Oh, I love this plant so much and I can't wait to watch it grow. I don't really know how these guys grow, whether they grow up or it looks like they might just by the aerial roots. So if that's the case, I'll give this guy a moss pole very soon, but I am so excited to have this plant. Thank you. The next plant that I got was a Hoya. Are you surprised? I got the Hoya begutensis, begutensis. But as you guys know, I love larger leaf Hoyas and this one is exactly that. It's not like a heart-shaped Hoya leaf or anything like that, but they definitely do put on some size. You can see there just how stunning this plant really is. She's also made these really cute little trellises to go with a lot of the Hoyas that you saw in the videos. I thought that was a really cute touch, but yes, this is such an awesome Hoya and the veining in it is so cool. I think it honestly looks a lot like the Hoya Fitchii with just an elongated leaf, if that makes sense to any of you guys. But again, this is one that I'm very, very excited about. So thank you, Secret Garden. I don't know how I'm not gonna be there every single day. I might be there every single day. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not saying anything but I'm kind of saying I'm gonna be there every day. <laughs> so get used to it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you like me or the content that I make at least, <laughs> please subscribe to my channel. I would totally appreciate it. If you wanna be notified when I post a video, you can also hit that bell button that sits right beside the subscribe button and click all. But that's kind of all I want to say. With that being said, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day. Bye!